But God commended his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The love of God is that he came to this earth knowing that you were a sinner, knowing that you sinned against God and yet still took your place for your sins. And no greater love does a man have than he lays down his life for his friends. And that is the love of God, folks, that He took your place for what you deserve. He became sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. Because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, the Lord Jesus Christ made it possible for you to enter in to His kingdom through His righteousness, became a sacrifice for sins so that you could have eternal life. And that is the love of God, folks. And the Lord is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But such a hard task for men to repent, to admit that they've sinned against their Creator. All kinds of deceptions going on today. But the Lord would have all men everywhere to be saved because the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. And that's why you need to have life because your own heart is deceived because God made man to bring pleasure to him to be under the authority of God but not in, as the same authority that man has over man it's kind of interesting because men they have all kinds of, the, of authorities from uh, kings of nations all the way down to um, police officers on the street, but yet they'll submit to the authorities of men and governments, but yet they won't submit to the one who made the, the governments and mankind. But you know, the Lord Jesus Christ never does that which is against nature folks man is in a sad state of affairs today because they're living for themselves they're serving the creature and not the creator but the lord jesus christ would have you to serve the creator because he's the one that created you he's the one that created the genders he created man and woman for a specific purpose. For a specific purpose, he created the genders. He took the rib out of a man and created woman for the purpose of being a help me to a man. Can't change it, that's God's order. And you don't have to receive it, but that's not in your best interest or the best for God has for you. Because God has the best for you, but Satan has third best for you. But yet you would rather have third best than best. And uh, that's what Satan does. He deceives the minds of men. And when I'm saying men, I'm talking about the whole human race, not gender in that sense. The whole human race. The Lord Jesus Christ wants you to be reconciled to God. He wants you to be reconciled to God. He wants you to come back into the fold of God. He doesn't want you to die in your sins. He wants you to come back into the purpose in which He created you. That is the love of God. He died for your sins. He shed His own blood for your sins so that you could have eternal life. 
for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the Word of God says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Turn to the living God, because He loved you and died for your sins. He that believeth on Him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. So we have come out here that you might escape the condemnation of God that's upon you because it's the will of God is very plain and clear. The will of God is very plain and clear that He did not create men to be under the condemnation that they're under. That was, that was the enemy. That was the thief that cometh uh, forth to steal, kill, and destroy. Satan came to destroy men. The Lord Jesus Christ came to give them life and to give it more abundantly. And uh, we urge and beseech you in the name of Jesus Christ that you will come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ before it's too late.